four grueling match days. Stretched across the length and breadth of Asia. The pursuit for excellence. And 32 clubs in the mix. That's the story so far. The penultimate round of the group stage beckons. Let's find out how the teams fared on day five in the AFC Champions League. It was a tight affair in Group E at the end of match day four, with only three points separating the four clubs. FC Seoul led the way on seven points, with Jiangsu propping up the rest of the group. Jiangsu Sainty were humiliated 5-0 by FC Seoul in their opening encounter of the campaign and were eager to return the favour when they welcomed the Korean champions to China. The Seoul club needed maximum points to progress, while Jiangsu needed a win to stay alive in the competition. Glenn Mascarenas was in the commentary box. Paul Johan with the warning shot. Hits the right post, and it's a good setup by Yunil Lok. FC Seoul mean business here tonight. Soul Club in attack mode, Escudero has been trying to create those chances, and that's the first strike! It's a massive one from Kum Yong Jin, shoots it from a distance, and the Seoul midfielder has just put FC Seoul ahead. Cho Yong Su delighted with that, it's such a strong left footer. Unstoppable there, did get a hand to it, Deng Xiaofei, but wasn't able to prevent it from hitting the back of the net. It's 1-0 FC Seoul. Jiang Susenti have been put under pressure. It's Choi Hyo Jin slipping it from the right flank, and that's goal number two. Yuno Lok has just hit the target. FC Seoul now two goals ahead. And Jiangsu Senti are certainly in trouble. It's great teamwork there. Cho Hyojin, lovely pass from the right flank. All it needed was guidance. And Yunil Lok with the perfect execution as Seoul moved two goals ahead. It's now Jiangsu Senti nil, FC Seoul two. Full time at the Olympic Sports Center in Nanjing. It's been a good game for the Seoul club. Final score, Jiangsu saint nil, FC Seoul 2. Elsewhere in Group E, Buriram United and Vegalta Sendai were level on points and goal difference going into their match. The clubs finished one all when they met on day one, and the game in Thailand would decide which of the two was the superior outfit. Sid Bala was the commentator. Vigalta, the attack. Aoya crosses the ball in, it looked good. But the ball sails wide by Tamu. And it was a good cross there. The header was just slightly skewed, going beyond the keeper's reach. Buriam finding a certain level of confidence. And there it was. That's exactly the kind of confidence that they're looking for. Well placed past and Surat Suka. His header just going by a couple of inches on the right post. This is a good opportunity here now for Buriram to try and make the most of their free kick. It'll be Tiraton to take it this time from the right wing. And he swings the ball in nicely. It's a dead touch and it's a fantastic finish. What a goal for Buriram. Exactly the kind of start they're looking for in the second half. And it is an absolute emphatic way to do so. Tiraton's free kick, absolutely fantastic. Drifting in nicely, no one picking up. Osmar might have got the last touch, but it is Kai Hirano who celebrates the goal. Muto doing well to bring the ball on the inside. And would you believe it? Unbelievable turn of events here. Vegalta Sendai have pulled one back in the dying minutes of extra time. Unbelievable turn of events here. It was a brilliant long ball through. And no one in the back of the net. Nakahara 
sees the ball in ever so easily. And there we have it. It has ended Buriram 1, Vegalta Sendai 1. Vegalta's opportunity to make out the knockout phases is still alive. So FC Seoul made the knockout stage for the third time in five years, while Vegalta and Buriram are left to contest the other available spot from Group E on Match Day 6.